So I was totally gonna get this video up earlier, but I didn't because I procrastinated and I procrastinated and I procrastinated and suddenly, oh my god, it's almost 7 o'clock. How did I let this happen? Where did the day go? Ah, oh, yeah, I'm a bad person. So, um, this week we're supposed to be talking about how to finish and this this topic is fairly problematic for a couple of reasons. Um, the first one being define, like, you have to define finishing. What is finishing? Do you mean finishing the first draft? Do you mean finishing completely? And it, it just, so then it comes down to, well, how do you do it? Like, how do you define finishing? Um, and what is keeping you from doing that? So. Uh, the problem most people have is not even editing, it's getting their first draft done. And a couple of problems is not when they get to the end, because for me, when I get to the end, I get super motivated, stay up all night finishing this thing, motivated, cannot sleep until I am done, motivated. Um, a lot of people, it's hard for them to finish right from the beginning because it looks like they're climbing a mountain and they hit the hard stuff suddenly the trail's missing and they don't know where they're going with it and those are the problems and all I can say is that you have to work at it writing is not just an art writing is a discipline and part of discipline is discipline you have is perseverance you have to keep working even if you don't want to even if you have no idea where to go and that doesn't necessarily mean writing down words that you will later change it also can mean brainstorming researching something and if you literally have no idea what to write down at for this particular part that you're on you can skip it or you can start researching for something later and that will give you ideas. You can listen to music. You need to actively search out inspiration because it will not always come to you. There is no muse hanging over your shoulder that is as focused as you because oftentimes you will get bunches and bunches of ideas that you cannot use for whatever particular project you're working on. So you need to go and search for your muse, for your inspiration. You need to go and search for the thing that will keep you going. Because some people can just write all day, every day. And some of us can just sit there writing all day and we'll love it, we'll enjoy it. But that's not what it's like all the time for most of us. And you need to recognize your limitations and you need to work with those limitations. You need to force yourself to keep going because there will be times when you have to force yourself. There will be times when it will seem like a job, it'll seem like homework, and you'll feel like you can't do it, but you have to do it anyways. So that's finishing first draft. The other type of finishing is when you're editing and you're just like, oh my god, this is awful. I know that I need to fix it, but I don't know how I need to fix it. And when that happens, you need to get other people to look over it. You can, um, you can get people to critique it at critiquecircle.com. You can, uh, you can completely revise the whole thing, which can sometimes be a little depressing. Um, you can give the whole thing a makeover. You can add in new things, um, not and not necessarily like subplots. You can add in new things to make the characters fuller, to make their worlds. Fuller, for example, um, you can add in a sort of foreshadowing, foreshadowing, for example, whenever you mention that this character is uh, wearing a certain color that mean, that corresponds to an emotion, that means they're about to feel that way, or something. And you can extend it up to other characters, or you can do that with music. Whenever this character sings from these types of songs, they're about to feel this way, or something. Uh, you can do whatever you want, and um, sometimes that's the stuff that gets you through. And other times you have added way too many things, and you need to go through and take them out. And uh, you do not have to edit 
one chapter at a time. You do not have to edit in order because sometimes if you're adding in something to add a new layer of depth to the novel or you're taking out something so it's not as cluttered, it's better if you just go to the parts where those things are in and take them out or add them in. It's because it might be hard to, like, as you're going through, to juggle all of them and remember, oh right, this character has a different name, oh right, this character has a different description, oh right, I'm supposed to be adding this thing. So you might forget about it, so it might be easier to instead focus on one thing at a time as you go through. Um, and that way it might be a little more consistent, but at the end you are eventually going to have to do a once-over and check it. And you're going to have to tell someone all of these things that you've been changing and ask them to read it and keep an eye out for those things. Um, so that's how to finish. See you guys next week.